What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chicken Master. I'm back again with more Bakugan. It's kind of been, been the theme of 2022, um, but these are all exciting. Like, there's a whole, like, this is all like fun. So, you know, take it as you will. Um, I've, been, I've done some other stuff, obviously, but for the most part, it's about Bakugan. I think that's going to stay true for a little bit, but who knows, right? It's all about luck, and we've been pretty lucky here for the last little while now um a lot of runs to the store have uh, resulted in something really pretty so of course this was no different and i was kind of happy because this is an older back end, not by much but i mean it's an upgrade for something that i have so i'm very excited to have this Diamond Fennec Ultra in my hands. So let's check this puppy out and get it open and have some fun. So just like any other Diamond Bakugan, it's of course Diamond. Um, so it's kind of a little harder to see um, inside, but it's in there. There it is. Um, looks great in there. The back, of course, shows you exactly what's going on. It's got the diamond, and then it's got the cards. You have the character card, the ability card that turns it into a diamond, and then you have the gate card plus the cores. So pretty much everything you would need to make this Bakugan playable in both the game, but also to just have. So yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. I really like the box style of the uh, Jig and Rising. Rising. There's something fun about it, just how it pop, really pops out, you know, that's in the core shape. I kind of like that. So each design of the boxes has been kind of fun and unique and different. So it's been kind of fun that each season, each kind of season, the design changes. So, but enough about that. Let's bust this thing open because I'm excited. And of course, the one downside is these are harder to open than say, oh, there's an opening. Then say like the, uh, oh, that's all tape. That's why. Um, then the, uh. Like, the newer um, Evolutions ones. I really like those boxes. So, first things first, as always, we always go over the cards first. So, let's get the puppies open. Ah, oh, sweet. So, yeah. Let's see if I can't get the rest out. It's kind of fighting me. All right. So they haven't done this since Jigen Rising. I'm not going to go into full detail because one, this is an older series as well as also. But it comes with a very basic manual of the game. Both really just the uh, basic game, but it does explain a little bit about like what the big game is as well but this is the baby game the baby version of the game pretty straightforward using the gate cards um now instead of the cores which is kind of interesting and fascinating but at the same time really really cool so and much more and pays a little homage to the original and then of course because again this is an older one so of course here is your set list all of the uh, bakugan and such that are in it, the the factions that they can come in. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, I think this is when they introduced elementals, isn't it? Or was that Armored Alliance? But it shows you, what I like about this is that it shows you on some, like at least what attributes they come in. Um, they don't do it on the new ones, but that's all right. And then on the back is the how to close. We do not need this, I already have one. And I'll show you how to close it anyway, but it is there if you need it. Um, which that is also something they have discontinued. For cores, you get a green fist and a orange shield. Green fist is plus 100 B power, and then uh, is that that's uh, darkest Inventus get plus three damage, and then orange is uh, if it's darkest Inventus, it gets plus 400 B. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then of course, get a card. Pretty, pretty good stuff. I love the new gate cards. I'm just glad that gate cards are back. Minus 200 for everything unless you are, well, minus 200 for Pyrus, 
Ventus or Chaos, but plus 700 if you are Aquas or uh, Relis or Darkest. So really neat stuff. Let's get into the card. Um, Fennec Ultra, just your standard Fennec Ultra card. Um, Chaos, Fennec Ultra requires the um, Orange Shield or Green Fist. Two damage and 800B, no special effects. Um, pretty good stuff, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I already have one sitting over here actually. But then here's where the fun gets in. Here is the Evo card for Diamond Fennica. It's very pretty. Um, so yeah, seven. It, it costs seven energy to um, play. It has two thousand two hundred B power. That's impressive. Evo. Oh, so it evolves from Fennec Ultra and has ten damage. No special effects, but with twenty two hundred B power, I don't think it really needs many special effects. It's already pretty pretty strong. I mean, for reference, right? Let's pull up some of the other ones I actually have. Um, well, what's a diamond that has some really high power? Uh, shark Tar Ultra has Diamond Shark Tar Ultra has eighteen hundred. Um, who else has like a high amount? Oh, my Diamond Nelia says 1,500, and my F F Diamond Fade Ninja has 1,800. So this is probably, like, the strongest diamond I have so far. Because I think my Diamond Hydra's Ultra had, like, 1,800. So, like, this thing is, this thing is powerful. So, but it's not just the cards. It's all about the Bakugan itself. So let's get into that. So... Here is the Fennica. Let's see. Oh, there is a string. I will pop that. Blink. Nope, I missed. Blink. There we go. Gotta cut it more than once. I dropped one of them. Did I fling it in? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the other one. And I just threw Fennica across my table. But oh my goodness, is it pretty. This is probably one of the most beautiful diamonds I've ever held. Just because it it is. It just looks so good. Especially with like, I don't think I've ever, I don't have a diamond chaos. With the, the exception of now the platinum colossus. But the thing with that is it's different because it's got like the steel and stuff. So it has its own effect. This one just... The white and the blue pop off it very, very well. Especially, like, if you look at, like, the tail region and stuff. It just looks so good. There's a little bit of white on the back. I mean, just... And the eyes. It's got golden eyes. How well you can see it. But it's got these golden eyes, and I love it. Regular Fennica has just the sky blue eyes. Pretty straightforward kind of detail. But at the same time, still really, really cool. So I, I love this... Because it's an older one, it does have the um, base B power written on it as well, just like a normal Fennica Ultra would. So, but it, not too, not not too big an deal though. It's not something we can't handle. So, yeah. Um. All right. Let's close this puppy and then we will open it back up. So to close the Fennica Ultra is pretty good stuff. I like to roll it upside down to keep its legs because these two front legs are free moving. But I like to then push down the other legs, push in the um, kind of the big ears, as it were. And then bring the tail up, fold in the t the side tail. So now it's kind of like, it goes from this, this, which kind of looks like a uh, rock star. Uh, rock star, rock star. I, I know what I'm talking about. And then it comes in, tail, and then you just close in that. And you're done. And it's beautiful. And I love the little, tiny little white and blue detail. Be, kind of that tealish. Because then it kind of just makes it look out, look really good. But also because of the thin, like, kind of wings of the ears and the tail. It kind of just, like, gives off a really cool effect. It's better in person, I think, than on the video. But it's still really, really cool. Um, let's watch this thing open. Um, let me, uh, here my core. Um, oh, come on. 
Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the jumpy thing. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I... Okay, well, it's supposed to, like, then jump forward and land, but no big deal. I'm not too worried about it, but because this thing is gorgeous. So now I have my two foxy friends as diamonds. I had my Fenica, and I had my Platinum Blitz Fox. Now they're both diamonds, and I love it. So, I really appreciate you all for watching, um, and taking the time to check this out. Um, I think it's really fun. I love opening all these, and I'm sure you guys at least enjoy it a little bit. It's kind of fun, um, and it's fun to open them and, like, not just open them, but, like, share that with you. And so I think that's what I've been doing more in general. It's just that, like, oh my gosh, like, check this out. So, yeah, I really thank you guys all for watching. Um... If you would like, um, in the comments, like, what is your favorite diamond that I've opened so far? Like, of all of the ones I've you've watched me open, even if you're new to the channel, you, um, they'll be, like, on the end screen, and I can put some in the iCards, of, like, other diamond openings, because, like, I have a lot now. I think, I don't know how many I have. It's probably, like, reaching double digits soon, probably. I mean, we're probably at, like, seven or eight, I would say. Um yeah we'll just go with about seven or eight so i mean that's like a lot we've op and we've opened a lot of bakugan in general so but of all of them what's your favorite diamond so leave that in the comments i think that's my one big thing for today um if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe there's probably going to be more of this coming up N not a guarantee like right away but probably in the future there will be more so and there's always going to be other content as well um so if you would like to if you like this stuff you might also like that stuff so go check it all out um all my socials will be in the description, um, especially my Twitter and my Twitch. Lacrosse season's in right now, so Twitch is kind of like, it's there and I have a new schedule, but it's kind of a little wonky just because I've been up with practices and having to keep my own life together as well as also like games and just missing things. It's going to happen, so that's just how it is. But for the most part, I'll be following a pretty straightforward schedule that, yeah, so, and then Twitter, update everything updates go in there. Um... And so, yeah, that's 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 what I got for that today. So, again, thank you all for watching. Um, and you all take care. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And I will see you on the next one. So, see ya.